nice. Well, I'm super glad to be collaborating with you guys. Uh, the technology is super impressive. So before we dive into it, I just want to give you your kudos. This is the first time that you and I are speaking. Uh, when I first saw it, typically I'm a little haphazard with collaborations and partnerships, just currently where we are. But I looked at that and, you know, your team presented it to me and I was like, yeah, this is phenomenal. Uh, so congratulations on all the success and the idea is brilliant. And as the space evolves, somebody's going to need to develop something like this. So I'm glad that you did. Thank you, Luca. I appreciate you guys. And uh, I know we have actually as well, do I address you as actually agents or sorry? I don't <laughs> you, can, you can just call me agents. Okay, um, awesome. But no, I, go ahead. Yeah, for everyone in the audience, do you want to tell us a little bit about your project, what you guys are doing? Um, give us yeah. a little background. For sure, happy to, and and thank you, Luca and uh, agents. Like I think the compliment goes to the uh, to the team here um, that's in the spaces, but also I, I see a couple of faces uh, here. I see Ronak, uh, Alicia, uh, the official account. I see Komalika below, uh, and we'll have a couple of members of our community streaming in as well. So, really excited to share our message with the um, community here. And um, basically, Alicia is a uh, think of us as giving your NFT superpowers, right? So your NFT today is uh, is sometimes a static image, like that's how it starts for most PFP collections. We bring it to life uh, using AI, all right? We are able to give your NFT a personality, um, uh, a uh, characteristic traits, um, and all of this without any of you uh, needing to learn a single line of code. So... Uh, it's it's no code required. Um, you uh, take as long as you can write. Uh, you're able to uh, take some of your writing, some of your thoughts as to how your personality of your penguin should be, and uh, you're able to bring that uh, character to life. So Alicia is really um, a platform that does this for all NFTs. Uh, but we started with uh, really collections that. Uh, are resonant in the NFT space and have established themselves uh, as either blue chip collections uh, like the Penguins or uh, have such a powerful restorative narrative like uh, the Penguins also do. So uh, for us, it's, uh, it's, it's a privilege to also be partnering with you guys to showcase this technology. Your uh, Penguins now can create uh, video content. You can create interactive uh, penguins that can maybe teach people how to do fasting one day or uh, how to do meditation. Like you can uh, create new uh, characters and teachers and trainers and bring this, bring bring these NFTs to life uh, and allow the owners of those NFTs to uh, bring utility to the uh, to the overall network of NFTs. So um, really, that's that's the primary utility. Think of us as giving superpowers to your NFT. Uh, and uh, your penguins now uh, live on the metaverse and can interact and talk. There are so many extensions, as, as I was reading a little bit more about the, uh, the community that uh, all of you have built, uh, oriented around uh, the toys that are coming up, the... Uh, physical integrations, the metaverse integration. So you can do a lot once you have a strong community. Now, what we are focused on is is adding that AI element. So we, we have this thing called the INFT, the intelligent NFT. So your penguin, not that it was um, uh, unintelligent before, it just gets that AI portion added to it, and you can now make it make it come alive. So hopefully that that gives um, that gives uh, some context to agents and and Luca as well. So explain to me the fusion process because I think this is important. Right. I have my penguin uh, and then I fuse it and then it starts, you know, I'm going to do it later tonight. You know, when my penguin fuses, it's going to be saying pingu and uh, <laughs> it's going to be a, it's going to be a great I'm going to I'm going to share it once I do it. Uh, but give me a little more insight on the fusion side of things. Just kind of explain how the process works, like step one, two, five. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, think of any NFT, think of the overall process um, with this analogy, right? It's an, all analogies are imperfect, but this is the closest one. Think of it as a body, mind, and soul. So, your body, the NFT, uh, your penguin that you have, uh, represents that, that image, that JPEG file um, is the body, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to fuse, you're going to link that body presently somewhat uh, static um, with a soul. Uh, a soul is 
uh, an asset uh, that Alethea has um, that allows uh, your NFT to essentially have a personality uh, and allows it to function uh, in the in the metaverse. So when you combine the body with the soul, which is a personality pod, this beautiful orb-like uh, uh, structure and design that we have, um, and we have, I think, about 10,000 personality pods at different levels, at different levels of intelligence, you can pair them together and fuse them and the soul and body when they get combined what happens depending on the level of intelligence of your soul you can then have a mind uh, that, that means you can then start offering services on the network so let's say if you if you if you have a soul that is level three uh, what will happen is when you fuse and pair that soul with a body like the pudgy penguin's body uh, you would then be able to create a real-time interactive penguin that doesn't just do video content. That means you can, you don't, you, you're not just restricted to video creation, but because of the compute requirements, you can now have that penguin be interactive in real time and people can interact with that penguin and it has a personality so your penguin if you train it correctly uh, sounds i hope I'm not insulting any french people here but for example napoleon bonaparte like some of his uh, 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 outfits you know one could say that he dressed like a penguin right so if you wanted one of your penguins to uh, reflect uh, the french emperor Right uh, and uh, be able to write uh, romantic letters to uh, his beloved um, uh, uh, love that that uh, that he used to write to. So, if you wanted to create a personality like that, you can have a penguin that mirrors Napoleon's personality. And whenever, whenever people go in and chat, that penguin would have Napoleon's personality. Um, it doesn't just stop there. Your your penguin can do a lot more as it gets trained over time. Um, and so that's that's really the the fusion process: body, mind, soul. Once you pair the soul with a penguin, you then unlock uh, the ability for the mind to come to life and the ability to perform services on the network. And these services include creating video content, creating real-time interaction, and at higher levels, the highest level we have right now at level four is when your penguin can create its own art and soon its own music. Um, and so these are the generative AI superpowers uh, that I was alluding to earlier in our conversation. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, no, I I, I love it, and uh, we will be giving away some souls. I know you guys have uh, given us some souls to give away to the community, so uh, agents I, will probably be spearheading that. Uh, yeah, I point. I gotta ask, I gotta ask though, because there's a lot to unpack there. So uh -huh. if if I'm understanding this right, Arif, in addition to like I could feed scripts into my penguin for say if I wanted to turn my penguin into a VTuber, right? Mm -hmm. Um but it'll also learn from data points that I feed it and develop that's, its own personality. That's correct. So think of um and this is really I'm gonna get briefly technical here because you're asking a, an important question on the technology. But um, there's this thing called a large language model. Uh, large language models uh, originated. I mean, it's 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 research that has been going on for for several years now. But the first company that created a language model that was commercialized, I think, at, at scale, was OpenAI, which is a company founded by Elon Musk. And OpenAI created this uh, language model. By language, I don't mean. Uh, like English or German or, or French or any of those languages. It's just a, a, a model that can mimic and pretend to have uh, human-like uh, responses. So uh, in, in certain cases, the, the AI, um, if you were to feed it, let's say Luca has a Twitter feed, if you scrape all of Luca's Twitter content and put it into this AI model, uh, it will start to reflect and sound like Luca. Uh, this was the earlier iterations of the model several years ago. Uh, what Alethea has done um, is we have now built our own uh, model and think of it as almost like uh, Lego blocks or bricks where you can take different aspects and different um, data sets and combine them together to create your personality. And once your personality is created, let's say you want, um, I'm just going to throw some personality traits out there, uh, agents. So let's say you want your penguin to be aggressive uh, and sarcastic, but also at the same time, a tender lover. I don't know, right? Like I'm just, I'm just throwing stuff out there. How do you know me so well? 
<laughs> I don't know. It's just in the voice, my friend. <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah. So let's say if you combine these elements together, what happens is, um, you you will upload data sets similar to that, right? And you'll upload, let's say, uh, you'll upload uh, conversations that um, someone like that might have. Uh, you'd upload things that the AI could learn from, and we we have really good templates for you to choose from. It's almost like. Uh, uh, um, like constructing a, a Lego blocks together, right? So you build those out uh, and you train the the penguin on that and you train it with the interactions uh, as well at the same time. Uh, once you've trained it, what happens is the penguin's ready and it's not a static penguin anymore. The more people have conversations with it, the more people interact with that penguin, uh, the smarter your penguin becomes, uh, the more informed it becomes, which is where we sort of run into like some interesting challenges or problems, right, from, from an AI standpoint, which is, you know, if you put your penguin in a horrible environment and you hurl a view at it, what happens to its personality, right? So so the, the analogy I, I like to give is, you think of your NFT almost like a child and you're teaching it uh, by giving it books, uh, by giving it content and it's learning and progressing over time. Uh, so, so hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, um, my mind's kind of exploding right now with the, with the possibilities because I'm a very content driven individual. The best part of all this is you don't need to know a single line of code anymore. So you can, as long as you can write English, uh, presently it's English is the primary language constraint we have. As long as you can write a story in English, you can embed and imbue your penguin with a specific personality or trait. Um, so that's that's really the, the, the democratization of this opportunity. You don't have to be a, a Python expert or a coder. Uh, you, you can um, upload data sets. You can write a few lines of, of uh, story uh, about your penguin's backstory. And you can give it, uh, you can you can bring it to life. So I, I like to lecture sometimes uh, on the pulpit in our team meetings when I get on the soapbox and the team asks me to get off. Like the what we'd like to say is like words will now be able to create worlds. So the more words you put in, the more uh, thought you put into the story of your character, uh, it, it, the, the world that you will create uh, by inputting these data sets into that uh, penguin uh, are, are going to be very, very unique. Wow, I love it, and and your end goal here is to create a ever expanding metaverse of different NFT characters that are all learning through this platform. I think you call it Noah's Ark. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't say that's that's sort of the the end goal. Um, core uh, structure right now is, is we have a protocol uh, that that means right now. Uh, it's it's somewhat permissioned and gated, and we're only working with uh, communities that are reputable, are uh, have a strong foundation, have a great narrative, and have strong leadership. Very much like the Penguins community or community led as well. Uh, once we open up the protocol, um, basically it becomes permissionless. So anybody can take any NFT and bring it to life. They can then deploy that NFT. Um, presently, the NFTs, the INFTs sit on uh, Noah's Ark, the, the the metaverse on the Aletheia platform. But in the future, and you'll see this in different levels of the souls, the INFTs can be deployed anywhere. Uh, we, we want to be metaverse agnostic. We understand in the beginning that, you know, we need a platform to showcase where people are going to communicate with these penguins or uh, these different uh, INFTs. So we have a collection called the Revenants that includes, for example, a character like Napoleon or Alexander the Great or, um, uh, or you know, uh, many, many different characters from, from history like Nikola Tesla and Rumi. You can chat with them on Noah's Ark. Uh, but in the future, as these INFTs become more intelligent uh, over time, they can be deployed in different metaverses as well. So you can, uh, you know, you can put them into a decentraland. You, maybe you don't even want to put them into a metaverse. Maybe you want a penguin to sit at a shopping mall as a, a chatbot host that can answer your questions about what shops exist in that shopping mall, right? So it could be something really basic, or it could be something sophisticated where you have a penguin uh, who is a romantic partner, right? I don't know, right? I don't know where the imagination will will, will end and where it begins. So um, different metaverses and different implementations are definitely possible. What we are creating is this sort of underlying uh, infrastructure to give your NFT superpowers. Oh, hopefully that makes sense. Well, I love that. And what I'm going to do is for the next six months is I'll be training my penguin 
and just so the community is listening, once this penguin is fully trained up and fully evolved, he will be taking my Discord AMAs every other week. So <laughs> well, that's cool. And, okay. It'd be don't, kind don't, of I, crazy. I'm sorry, Reef. I didn't mean ahead. to cut you off. But I, I mean, it'd be kind of crazy if uh, just blowing this idea out. If projects, you know, retained back one of their NFTs for like the project level representation. And you just feed all the chat from the Discord, like kind of distill all the community and how the community is into one NFT. I mean, that's just one of the the use cases I'm seeing here. And you can make it, you know, represent like an actual community representation. Absolutely, I think you you hit the nail on the on the head there in terms of the use case for communities because a lot of um, you know, if you think of brand mascots and the time it takes to animate and the time it takes to generate and time it takes to educate a brand mascot, and at the same time, the cost, uh, we're abstracting all of that away and we're providing you a framework where you can upload these data sets and your penguin uh, will become essentially that core brand mascot of that community. Um, and they can be like sub-communities, different brands, different uh, different penguins for different regions or different languages um, you know so so you can really extend out the possibility the design space of play is is going to really expand and it's up to each community as to how they want to uh, want to build this out uh, it could be exactly that idea that you've you've thought of uh, agent but um, it could also be the idea that uh, Luca shared which is like hey if there's you know one penguin that you can have for an EMA that's familiar with the lore that's familiar that can answer certain questions that's that's definitely possible and that could live 24 7 so Luca can get uh, you know can get some rest but Luca the only suggestion I have is don't let your penguin fast or learn too much about uh, <laughs> downloading all of your personality right because otherwise if the penguins are thin I think they lose their charm and appeal, but that's just my my opinion. <laughs> well, this is really interesting, and you honestly, while listening to you speak, you sparked like a genius CPG product idea uh, that I'll reach out to you independently because you know you look at this thing five, ten years down the line from now, there could be a very interesting model. Uh, we just you know announced that we'll be doing toys licensing, you know, the IP from our community for our toys. There, there could be something, uh, you know, very forward thinking. I'm not going to go into it now in a public space, but I'll definitely reach out to you independently. But um, I love the idea. I love the concept. Like I said, there's very few brands that, you know, at this moment in time that we're aligning ourselves with. But this is so cool. And the second I saw it, I was like, this is a no brainer. And while you're speaking about souls, agents, it seems like, you know, July is the soul <laughs> month. <Sure>. Muzzle, muzzle. <laughs> Seems like a big giant soul <laughs> soul month for the penguins this month, uh, but uh, I yeah, like you said, muzzle. But y universal alignment, my friend. Universal alignment. That was yeah, the the first thing you ever said to me when we first spoke. Yeah, I mean, all, all I know is I'm going to train this penguin of mine to be an absolute scholar, uh, and I cannot wait to do it. And so. If there's any questions from anybody in the audience, I think now would be the time to ask. Well, we have uh, the CEO of Aletheia on our chat today. Uh, yeah. This is a amazing, amazing technology, and I am so excited to see the content that some of you guys make uh, with your penguins merging with AI. Agents, don't we have some sort of giveaway for some of these fusion because uh, I think there's a there's a component here. You have to actually fuse your penguin with the Aletheia um, NFT. Correct me if I'm wrong, but kind of walk me through that process, Arif, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have, um, uh, similar to the mind, body, soul analogy, you need, um, uh, and I mean, on the thought topic of universal alignment, uh, we've had a couple of folks, uh, uh, I mean, that just uh, sparked an idea for, uh, penguin that can you know read your astrology or horoscope and then tell you you're universally aligned. But we'll leave wow. that to one creative community members to train, and uh, your, that penguin could essentially provide uh, uh, well readings, right? So, but uh, but yeah, um, and I don't want to get the irk of astrologers saying that penguins are disrupting their trade, but uh, 
I'll, I'll leave that to, to you guys to to invent and create. I think the main the main thing with the souls is we have uh, ten thousand souls right now. Uh, some some weird to say souls, but they're called personality pods, um, and they are uh, you know you can buy or sell them on Open Sea. Uh, there are different levels to these souls. Like so, think of like a child. Uh, think of uh, the child evolving over a period of time. So, you know, it learns to uh, see visually. It's, it learns to crawl before it walks, before it starts to run, before it starts to grow old and pick up language and all of these cues that make us human. So similarly, um, the soul has uh, levels of intelligence, right? So level one, the soul exists. It's born, it's birthed. Uh, you, can't, you can do some things with it, but not too much. Uh, at level two, you can create video content. So that means if you fuse a level two soul with any of the uh, NFTs uh, with uh, with a body uh, that is approved right now by Aletheia, like the Pudgy Penguins collection is, which is live right now. So if you own a Pudgy Penguin, you can actually make it come alive uh, by fusing it on chain, right? So your NFT on chain, uh, importantly, your NFT will not leave. Um, your Pudgy Penguin never leaves your wallet. Uh, you keep... Uh, ownership of it we don't take it from you uh you're basically fusing our uh, the nft asset the soul on chain with your pudgy and uh when that happens um essentially at level two your penguin can create video content and you can you know create birthday messages memes um you know content for instagram what have you right in, in a vertical format if you'd like or um uh, any format that that allows a mp4 video file to be played you can have your penguin there. But at level three, your penguin basically upgrades its intelligence and starts to develop a coherent personality. And uh, at level four, your penguin is then able to create what we call generative services, you know, create art, create music, um, uh, you know, battle as well. So it can battle other other penguins or other 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 collections, right, on, on its lore. This is where, like, it, it starts to get really interesting. And underneath all of this, what's happening is, is the penguins, the collections are getting smarter. The AI is getting smarter over time. Uh, and these characters are becoming more compelling and interesting. So a, a large number of our community members, for example, uh, we have, um, like, if you go to alithia.ai, you'll see this thing called a leaderboard. And you'll see some really interesting characters that are there. And I imagine we'll see penguins up there really, really soon, um, where people are talking with these INFTs, interacting with them, uh, and they're accruing rewards. They're earning uh, because when you talk to your penguin, what happens is your <clears throat> your penguin's intelligence is increasing. Or when anybody talks to an INFT penguin, and that means it's an intelligent interactive asset, your penguin is learning over time. And it's helping us make the AI engine smarter. Uh, and for that, uh, we basically allow... Um, uh, certain collections presently only, uh, and, and the penguins are part of this uh, very selective group, uh, to accrue rewards. Uh, where they're accruing um, uh, credits on our ecosystem that can then also be converted into our native token, uh, which is then used for, which will then be used for governance of the ecosystem, but also to upgrade the levels of the pods. So that's, I know I've thrown quite a bit out there, but that's sort of the overall um, ecosystem the analogy i always go back to is body mind and soul once you fuse a soul with a body what happens is you can then elevate the intelligence of the uh, penguin and you can start earning rewards from it as well uh, and and that allows you to train your penguin like just like you train a child right so it can have the uh, level of intelligence or it, you can guide <laughs> its evolution depending on how you would like it to to grow and evolve luca may want it to mirror his so it might be like a digital twin of luca in a penguin form uh, agents might want his penguin you know to uh, uh, be an astrologer or a dating coach or uh, whatever it is that your imagination might might interest you you can bring that to life with, with your NFT. So your NFT, the core thing, that, that core image is no longer a static asset. You've just birthed and given it uh, like superpowers and, and brought it to life. So oh. so a lot to unpack there, but uh, I know Peepy McGee, his, his mind's like just blowing up because oh, he, yeah. was doing, he was doing a rudimentary penguin uh, animation. Uh, not to denigrate you, PP, for for these classes <laughs> that he holds, but be, 
before we get to his question, so just a point of clarification, is these levels you're talking about, are they tied to specific rarities of this uh this pod that we're fusing with the penguin or it's a level up system where the more it's my penguin, the more it's going to end up leveling up until it gets to the point where it's painting the next Mona Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a bit of both. It's a great question. So the levels of the souls, uh, think of it basically as, as your penguin gets smarter, it requires more compute. It requires more brain power, so to speak. It requires more food and nutrition, right? So the, that food and nutrition, that metaphor, is basically compute. And the levels allow us uh, at Aletheia to segment the level of complexity each level requires. So level one, uh, you know, it exists, it's breathing, it doesn't require too much computation outside of uh, AI-generated animation. Level two, it can start creating video content. So there's a bit more animation required. There's voice required. Um, the AI compute levels are, are, are increasing, right? So it's like a child that is now moved from a toddler into like an, a, a, you know, like a three or four-year-old or five-year-old starting to run around, needs a bit more food, nutrition, getting taller. And then at level three, you know, it starts to interact and talk and has a sense of personality. Maybe it becomes like a teenager, and it can talk to you, it can insult you, scream at you, shout at you, uh, or have an interaction with you, depending on its personality. But um, so as this, the child sort of matures from level one to level two to level three, um, it requires more computational power. And how you get uh, upgraded in the ecosystem is several ways, like, just, you know, participating in AMAs like this. Uh, we do a lot of uh, giveaways of credits. Um, we um, have given away uh, a lot of um, upgrade opportunities to the community. Uh, when we share these uh, pods with all of you as well, with the Pudgy community, uh, when you get this uh, these pods, you'll find them to be at different levels so you can play, it in, play with those levels in the ecosystem. And also, when your penguin gets interacted with if you create a really cool compelling character and people love it um as more people interact with your penguin uh it accrues credits uh that allow it that you can then use as a user you as a user you as the owner of that penguin the the parent of that penguin so to speak can decide whether you want to uh use those credits to upgrade the intelligence of the penguin or if you want to you can uh, convert that into a native token uh, and participate in other governance initiatives. So there are different pathways to upgrading the levels of the pod. So we have different, uh, the levels are uh, somewhat rare, the higher you go, like um, just because there's more compute requirements. So I think there are 30 to 50 level fours out there that can create art. So we have um, the AIs, the INFPs actually creating their own art. So you're basically, you've basically birthed an, an, an artist, right? But um at level three, we have a large number of pods now that are level three, and level one and level two still uh, make up the sizable number of ten thousand pods that we have. So hopefully, that uh, adds a bit more color to the to the context of the economy around the the souls or the pods. I am my penguin, and my penguin is AI. <laughs> <laughs> PP. Yeah, dude. I, as as far as picking a community to like partner with, you guys pick the best one because. It never ceases to amaze me, the content that comes out of this community. Uh, and so, like, as a meme creator, I'm so excited to be making AI memes with my penguin. Uh, like, I'm kind of blown away by this space. It's one of the most interesting spaces <laughs> I've listened to. And, uh, yeah, it's super exciting what you guys are doing, and I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm, I'm so I'm looking forward to the day our penguin overlords uh, take over the earth. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I think it's it's really exciting, and, and one of the reasons as well why we, uh, like, I, I, I know I see Nansen, Nansen intern here, and I've been reading Nansen intern's extant threads. It's like just the content that comes out from the community is 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 uh, is informative. Uh, it's funny. I think the first penguin. Um, uh, NFT that we interacted with, that we spoke with, was uh, was by um, one of our investors. Was also uh, um, uh, name is Meltem, and so she's very much into the meme world. And she uh, was 
found a penguin and she allowed us to bring that penguin to life and we did some early sort of tests and demos it's ancient history now but i want to make sure that to to call that out because she was she's really awesome in helping me understand the penguin community besides that early new york times article so i think the meme potential and uh, the mimetic power of the penguins uh, uh you know would uh, would put many people in awe of the of the community so we're also excited to see now that we give you guys i mean we have this platform that will soon be permissionless uh, and uh, will allow everyone to you know bring all sorts of nfts to life what what can uh, what will the community create what sort of characters will they bring um how will the penguin sort of govern this superpower so to speak so so all of those are sort of open questions but uh we're happy to walk uh, uh you know in uh, step by step with with the penguins uh, as 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 uh, as slow as those steps are or as small as they are with uh, with building this uh, technology out with you guys when elon musk was talking about ai taking over the world this is what he meant uh <laughs> he meant about these penguins being able to take over so i'm super appreciative and shout out to all the companies in Singapore who support the penguins because it seems like we've we need to do an event in Singapore sometime and I'd love for you to be a part of it uh Arif and maybe we'll coordinate that in the near future but it seems like the Singapore is where it's at so we need to make a trip down there so it's a bit it's a bit humid here for for the penguins and I've just arrived so I'm more than happy to 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 find other folks who uh, you'll you'll find a very healthy crypto community here in Southeast Asia and Singapore as well but uh, very excited to to share this message with with the penguins and really excited I think what really unlocks like if I could just make one one of the point is uh, you know how YouTube um, basically allowed user generated generated to flourish, right? So it allowed everyone with a video camera uh, that democratization and YouTube sort of uh, captured that um, that wa- that wave, right? Allowed creators to upload user generated video. Where we are entering, and where Alicia's thesis primarily lies, is that we believe we are entering an age of user generated AI. And once we allow all of you to create your own personas and your own characters and these are autonomous characters and you can see penguin a is very distinct like lucas penguin is going to be very from pp's penguin right and from uh the nansen intern penguin right and so like all of these different penguins would have different distinct personas and traits just like we as humans do have different voices and different styles and different personalities uh and as we enter into this age of user generated ai when you don't you don't need heavy coding skills to create uh, content um, and create character. Um, you really open up a very wide design space for your community to play with this. Uh, and at the same time as they're playing with this technology, they're making their penguins smarter over time. So um, the possibilities are, are are going to be interesting and um, very, very open. So I have a couple of questions actually for the penguin community because I know you guys are like, you know, innovating on the frontier. But um, I was curious, uh, uh, Luca and Agents, um, where, where do you see um, like the um, Pudgy Penguins community going in the next like year or so? But uh, and also like there is this uh, there's this cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just uh, adding the questions together and compounding them. But there's this is uh, I am my penguin and my penguin is me quote. I'd love to like get uh, get an explanation of that language. Like, how did you guys uh, come up with that? Yeah, so I'll let I'll let agents answer the I am my penguin, my penguin is me, um, since I feel like he would just have a better answer than I. But you know, a huge initiative, a huge initiative for us is like the team on the pudgy penguin side. I think there's a huge uh, neglect to bringing new people on board, and I think a lot of uh, I think as a, as an NFT project, we have a responsibility uh, to the space. As you know, amazing technologies like yourself are you know creating tools to really make these products even more incredible. But who is really going to lead the charge, and who is really going to position themselves to bring in you know people who don't necessarily know about the space into the space? And so you know internally, that's a huge initiative for us, and that constitutes a multitude of different things, from consumer products to gaming to you know brand positioning and how we're aligning ourselves and the different partners that and the different gaps that we're trying to bridge. Uh, but that's like you know as as a company, you know where what I want to accomplish over the next twelve months is to really uh, bring in a mass group of people that uh, don't know anything about the space and inform them and educate them uh, as to what this is. 
Uh, and eventually, you know, the end goal is to build the biggest brand in the space. And how we get there, I think, uh, is attracting an audience that doesn't necessarily know what the space is. Eventually, uh, being a huge reason as to why uh, this space ultimately succeeds, which is, you know, one of the key reasons why uh, we're doing this. And agents, if you want to allude to the I am my penguin, my penguin is me. If you want to answer that question, you're more than welcome. Oh, yeah. Well, the I am my penguin and my penguin is me came about during an infamous space uh, almost a year ago in August during the the hyper run up where Joey Moose came in and he just brought this enthusiasm and energy and he said that iconic line and it kind of resonated with so many of the holders because even if you look at at the the buys that are going through right now you'll notice that with penguins it's oftentimes not the cheapest one that's getting bought people are really you know they're looking for their forever penguin and the one that kind of speaks to them and uh yeah it really just distilled the whole ethos of of these these comfortably obese arctic avians and how they make us feel and i am my penguin and my penguin is me and that's it in a nutshell wow no I think that is very powerful lore and also at the same time very authentic um and then shows the the momentic power that the community has i think um it's going to be interesting to see a bunch of the penguins here and their INFTs, their AI versions, uh, melodically hum, I'm my penguin and my penguin is me over a period of, um, uh, like, you know, you could do a, a video of uh, video mo- montage of all of these INFTs being alive and, and ready to, to speak to, 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 to people. And uh, penguins will, uh, I know penguins, you meant metaphorically speak to people, but now they can actually start speaking, right? And so that's 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 where it starts to get a bit weird. So it depends on what what you want them to say and, and the imagination you guys will bring. Yeah, the, the the vision and one of the reasons why we came into this is we really thought that penguins could lead the charge in terms of being like an inclusive digital identity for anyone. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think the the way the art is positioned is it really allows us, uh, you know, it's not really marginalized in any which direction. And that phrase, I am a penguin, and my penguin is me, kind of embodies that vision in one sentence. Uh, so I, I think there's a unique opportunity there. But Jeff's been in here for a while, and now he's raising his hand. So Jeff, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? Yeah, I <clears throat> wanted to thank you for having me up here. Yeah, that was a very famous line. That was um, a clip that got passed around. And he was very emotional in that moment. And I'm, you know, now that we're on the subject, I'm curious, was he acting or was he being sincere? When He's he being talking- sincere. I promise you. I know Joey Moose. He was 100% sincere when he did that. All right. Thank you. I was just curious. Um, yeah, very, very iconic, famous clip that definitely went um, viral. And he kind of like anthropomorphized his penguin. And um, yeah, I've been watching the project for a long time here. Thank you so much for having me up here. I pinned a floor uh, penguin that I have my eye on. And uh, yeah, I hope to join soon. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And welcome to the huddle. Yeah, and it's this type of unique language, just to just to be very clear, whether it's I'm my penguin, my penguin is me, or welcome to the huddle. Um, these uh, unique, I mean, you know, they've, they've looked at different cultures and how subcultures are built, and I'm not certainly an expert in any of this. I think the, the penguin community has shown what that language can create and that subculture can create. But these type of... Um, uh, uh, statements, these type of mantras or these type of words uh, essentially can uh, be placed into your uh, INFT uh, and your INFT will repeat them uh, at specific times. Uh, your INFT will use that as an ethos to drive their behavior. It might find a funny way of mentioning that or reminding you of it if you go off track. So they're, they're unique sort of, uh, once you have what, what is really interesting about the Penguins community is this core lore uh, and the uh, overall uh, language um, that you have um, has already birthed a community. And I think, and I don't want to go too far out, 
and cities, but I think because of that unique language, you will also birth very unique AI NFTs. And you, you'll birth very unique intelligent NFTs that will be um, uh, sh- will show a, will showcase the diversity of what is possible uh, uh, with with a unique collection like the penguin. So the visual aspect is certainly already unique with these really cute. Uh, 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 characters, but once you start adding the lore in and these penguins start speaking from that language, um, it, it changes the dynamic and equation because uh, people will connect even more with with their penguins. Um, it, and the interesting thing will happen is uh, this is part of our roadmap uh, a little bit further down the line, but um, people will be able to essentially um, uh, once you've trained your penguin um, and you've trained and built it up, uh, people would be able to purchase and buy and sell uh, specific uh, uh, personalities that might be popular. So if you create a really cool, interesting penguin um, or if you create a really abrasive uh, penguin and it's a, it's a, it's a hit, uh, you can essentially buy and sell that core intelligence right and that intelligence can be bought and sold and and be applied in different contexts uh, uh, it's funny because the first infT we ever did uh, sold on Sotheby's uh, for almost half a million dollars and this infT was a combination of two different intelligences I'll just go into a little bit of lore of Alethea but this infT is called Alice and uh, she was trained on Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper so she could talk about Bitcoin uh, fairly fluently so if you ask her questions about Bitcoin she can talk about it uh, but she was also trained on the lore of Alice in Wonderland so we uploaded the data set of Lewis Carroll's books open source stuff that's available to train her uh, language structure and intelligence and you create a unique combination of a character when you do that. So when she was first trained on the lore of Lewis uh, Carroll's uh, Alice in Wonderland, and you asked her, like when all of you get your penguins live, make sure you ask them, you know, where are you right now, you know? And as long as you've placed that data in there, that story in there, the penguin will respond from that space. But when we asked Alice where she was, uh, at first, you know, with... uh, with um, with only the Lewis Carroll work, she replied by saying that she was in a uh, wonderland. You know, she was in a in a rabbit hole in a wonderland. And once we added the Bitcoin white paper, um, she added that she was in a decentralized crypto rabbit hole. And so you start adding these different blocks, and you can create new uh, uh, interesting play times. Uh, uh, sorry, design design spaces for these characters to create new language and so these things i know it sounds it sounds like i'm belaboring a point but when you have mantras like i'm my penguin my penguin is me or uh, welcome to the huddle all of these language structures essentially are words that will become worlds and one day one of your penguins if you ask your penguin at level four hey uh, penguin can you create art for i am my penguin and my penguin is me and you wait like a minute or two and you see what that INFT is able to create from those words. Uh, that's that's where it starts to get really interesting. And then you, as an owner, can then decide to sell sell that art, or you can then decide to pass it to a DAO. There's just many different uh, possibilities that emerge from these core words that have birthed uh, and, and that are popular in the community. So I'll just I'll just pause here. Yeah. So from what I know about the community, I'm extremely excited to see the first AI motivational speakers and therapists and philanthropists to come from the penguin community. So I know uh, I'm personally, now that you've spoken about it, I'm going to try to turn my penguin into a motivational speaker. So we will see how that goes. Imagine, imagine you tell your penguin that you're having a bad day and it tells you, you just need to update your drivers. (laughs) No, but Arif, do you have like plans for like an API plugin? Like, if I wanted to uh, have a Twitter account just for my penguin, that's that's all automated. Is that something you see in the future? Yeah, no, absolutely. So that that occurs. Uh, we we already have um, uh, content that. Uh, we've already done the trials and uh, privately we've tested, you know, uh, if you train your penguin or um, 
your INFT on a specific data set, it can start tweeting out. We haven't launched it yet. Uh, it exists at level four. Um, it's part of generative services. So basically your penguin can do copywriting for you. So you could train a penguin to one day write a screenplay or write mean tweets <laughs> or write you know, uh, cool tweets, right? Like, or write uh, tweets from, the, you know, uh, from uh, uh, automated reports that generates right so you can uh, you can train your penguin on on these data sets and have it uh, tweet out content automatically uh, we just require more computational power so that's why it's a level four soul that's that's required so it's like a you need almost like a, a young adult soul to be able to handle the computational load from copywriting tasks from generative artwork uh, and as your penguin becomes more intelligent uh, it will be able to not just string 140 character tweets or 280, but it would be able to uh, write entire blog posts, right? It would be able to write entire... Um, uh, one day, I mean, the, the pathway for generative is one day your penguin may even be able to... Your intelligent penguin may be even able to create its own uh, mini-series that's AI-generated, right? So you upload a script, you upload some images of different penguins, um, and you get an animated series uh, within a couple of hours, right? So that's that's the part where AI is going. That's the generative part that the world is about to see. And we're we're working heavily on the research and R and D side to bring this to to uh, you know the communities like like the penguins, so that you can experiment. And I think with your mimetic power, you can really push the tech to a to a different uh, octave. You know, I love that. Unfortunately, my time is uh, running out a little bit, so let's uh, we're going to wrap this up. But we're super grateful, Arif, for you reaching out and uh, deciding to add penguins to this amazing AI technology. For those of you guys listening, uh, we will be giving away some of these fusion capabilities within the Discord, and agents uh, will be spearheading that. So go into the Discord at some point today for more information. I also want to talk about briefly, uh, for any of you guys listening, we did announce that we will be creating uh, and launching toys in quarter four. Uh, we have some amazing retail partners that we will allude to in the coming weeks uh, that you guys will know about, but we will be licensing the penguins directly from the community. So instead of creating our own uh, and making our own mock penguins with different traits, or ones that we own. We wanted to give that power back to the community and hopefully uh, some of you guys will be selected. I please ask that if you do wanna be a part of this and want your penguin to be in the running for uh, being one of the penguins in these toys to please submit your penguin to the form uh, that was tweeted to about earlier today. Uh, we do have a deadline for that. So the sooner you upload it, the more likelihood you will get to actually be a part of that initiative. So without any further ado, thank you, Arif, for your time. Thank you for the collaboration. We will be giving away those fusion, uh, the fusion NFTs over the course of the next day. And we are really excited to see all of the amazing content that everyone creates. And I will be making a motivational penguin AI uh, that will be debuting his him or herself pretty soon. And I look forward to seeing all the amazing AIs that the rest of the community creates. So thank you for everyone's time. And Arif, if you have any last words to say before we wrap this up, uh, the floor is yours. Yeah. Thank you, Luca. And thank you, agents and uh, the entire uh, Pudgy Penguins community. Also, thank you to the wonderful uh, technical and community and marketing team at Alethea. Um, they've been uh, working tirelessly to make this happen. So we're very excited to see all of the cool collections and collaborations and content, uh, motivational speakers, uh, astrologers, uh, diet uh, maybe dietitians, maybe a little bit tricky because you're giving health advice. Uh, but uh, fasting, fasting is okay, <laughs> right? So Luca, um, but, uh, but I think um, we, we're really excited to see all of the different cool applications you create. Uh, uh, excited to uh, see how you can push that technology and, uh, and the collaboration and the partnership with a, a community like the Penguins is something that uh, we're really proud of and uh, eager to see the, the results. And we're always available in our Discord as well. And I think we have some good community members and cross-pollination going on. So uh, excited to see how we can uh, build on this and uh, looking forward to uh, your uh, DM, Luca, on uh, on the futuristic idea. I think... Uh, 
we have a lot we can collaborate on with 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 you, with you guys so take care everyone thank you for the time i agree thank you once again and i hope everybody in this space has a great and wonderful rest of your day so be well everyone thank you reef bye guys stay pudgy stay-